All right, so we're back again here. We're going to separate this uh, Continental A65 crankcase and uh, the one that's over here on the right. Uh, this is an old one that uh, I've had for years that's been clean, certified, and all that mess there. And uh, Granddaddy got it from a friend years ago. And uh, But uh, anyway, he's sitting over here uh, supervising me and... Uh, you know, so we're gonna gonna try to pull this thing here apart and uh, see here what we got, and hopefully it'll help somebody out because I've been kind of scratching my head here a little bit. But uh, give you a little bit more of a close up here. Uh, but uh, what we're gonna do is uh, is these two studs right here uh, are well. Let's see here. You can see on this one right here. So what it is, you've got. These two studs here that I just showed you right here on cylinder three, uh, they're long studs that are implanted into the other side of the crankcase. So what we're gonna do is, uh, and this one here hadn't been pulled apart in uh, probably 40, 50 years at least. Uh, I mean, that's me guessing. It may have never been pulled apart, I don't know. But uh, the engine is, you know, from 46 from you know when the plane was built uh but uh anyways uh what we do is we'll take a rubber hammer and uh take it and you tap on these two studs and then it should separate the crankcase and uh and first off you want to make sure that you get all of your bolts and nuts off and uh there's a couple of let's see here there's a couple that's on here uh let me see where they're hiding out at. Uh, hmm. Hang on just a second here. Uh, all right, there's one right down here on the bottom, right there in the center of the screen. And there's another one that is right up in here. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna set the phone here up and uh, see if we can catch this here on video. And uh, we'll try to pull this bad boy right here apart. And uh, hopefully it'll help somebody in the near future. Because I know it would sure help me before I had a friend that told me how to do it. Uh, he was telling me to tap on the studs, uh, the cylinder studs. And uh, so anyways, first off, you want to make sure that you get off all of the, uh, which you don't have to take these off. But uh, I went on ahead and removed them and uh, lay these over here. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we will turn the crank case this way, slide this one over here out the way. But I brought this one in the, in the shop here so I could kind of look at it to kind of tell what, uh, you know, what's what. And uh, so let's see here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll just tap lightly on these two studs right here and uh, Tap on one, hit the other. And as you can see, we're already, you know, good four quarter inch apart and uh, and it's splitting pretty evenly here all the way around. So we'll just keep lightly tapping. And uh, make sure, don't do it with a hard steel hammer because you do it with a hard steel hammer, you're gonna damage your threads even though uh, you know, if you put your nuts back on the studs, you know, uh, you know, you might could lightly tap it just a little bit, but you don't want to hit it too hard. And, uh, you know, even with the nuts there, on it, you still might damage something. So, uh, the right way to would be to do this is stand this up inside of a, uh, like a two inch pipe on a little stand. So the engine is standing vertical and uh, tap it apart there that way, but I don't have a little stand that way. So that's why I'm doing it here on this uh, blanket. And uh, we've got our studs all the way out on that side. And uh, let's see if we can lay it down very easily. Oh yeah, we slid back together there pretty easy. So we should be able to pull apart pretty easily here now. So. Let's see here if we can, there we go. Just as easy as that. So as you see here, uh, 
I pulled up on the side that has the studs, uh, you know, that are still in the cylinder walls here. And uh, so that way there, you crank and you cam and everything won't fall out as you pick it up. So make sure you pick it up. If you do it like I just did, pick it up on the side that the studs are still in, you know, the short studs here. Uh, and, uh, and you can see right here, you know, how this is. And once you get it apart, uh, you should be able to just reach in here and pull all of your uh, rod, uh, my mind there went blank, anyway, all of your other parts right here on this side. And uh, all of these will be sent out to uh, aircraft specialties to be uh, recertified and everything. And uh, so, they ain't been out in 100 years. They're kind of in there pretty good. So, uh, but uh, anyway, we're gonna slide all of these here out and get everything here out of the way. And uh, all the bearings, they look good in here. Pretty good. So that would be one half of it. We'll just gently lay that down very carefully, like so. Grab me a rag here right quick. Oh. All right. Give us a rag. Oh, my oh my. Let's see here. Let's see if I can hold here out the way. And, uh, Grab this old towel over here. Well, lay it down right there. And, oh, I'll tell you, man, uh, for working these aprons, uh, the little cheap leather aprons at uh, Northern Tooling Equipment for like 15 bucks. It's well worth it. I mean, you can see it keeps the helps keep the grease and the grime and. Uh, you know everything there off of you uh, as you're working, and uh, not that I care about these old dirty old raggedy clothes I got on, but uh, anyways, let's see, see if we can slide the cam here out, just as easy as that, and uh, looks pretty good. Yeah. But all these parts right here, all these internal parts are gonna be sent out to, uh, you know, to, like I said, the aircraft specialties and uh, crankcase uh, will be going out to, uh, I wanna say the Devco crankcase services, something like that. Uh, that's where it's going to. And, uh, Get that out, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, these are a little war on the ends. Oh, there, this stuff don't want to come out too easily. Huh. Let's see if we can. Oh. We're gonna have to get it from the other side there or something. Something there holding her back. Anyway, let's remove the crank here. There we have it. Yeah, don't look bad to be 50 plus years old, I guess. Yeah. There's the front seal. Have to take out this keyway. There's a keyway right there on the front of your shaft that you have to remove to get this seal off of the front right here. But uh, but anyways, let's see here. We can lay this down very carefully. You don't never want to drop them or nothing. Uh, always want to be very careful. And uh, still got old gaskets on them and stuff. But uh, but anyways, uh, that's how it comes apart. So uh, just wanted to make that little short video and uh, 
show you a couple of guys there asking about uh, how I done it. So I was just gonna let you know. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to give a thumbs up and a uh, subscribe for uh, more upcoming videos on the uh, on the J3 Cub project. Uh, we still got a long way there to go on the Cub, but uh, anyways. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a blessed day, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.